Well, congratulations. How are you feeling after a performance like that? Uh, it feels great. It feels like, you know, my first win in the main event. And it, the fight was excited for me. I uh, have to rewatch it, but many things happening there. And, uh, you know, all together, fight like this, back in the win column, feels awesome. Feels, feels great. Did the fight go the way that you had anticipated going? Uh, well, I actually apply everything we were working on with my team. Uh, we were planning to, you know, to feel his power a little bit in this stand-up. And whenever it would be too risky, just go for uh, wrestling and grappling. And it was a little bit too risky because of that cut and everything. Once the cut happened, I just knew I needed to rush it forward because I didn't know how bad it is. And it might stop me from fighting. And so I rushed forward to take him down and work really hard on the submission because I just want to, you know, finish him with the punches. But his head is very hard. You know, I just, he didn't care about any of my punches from the from the back. So, coach started yelling to to you know switch to uh, submission, and I did. You joked um, with us at Media Day that you were going to avoid his hands against your face, but you didn't mention the elbows. So now you have to mention them both next time. Yeah, yeah, but uh, I didn't knew that he was very good at that elbow. But you know, I just uh, actually that brings me a little bit more happiness. You know, being in kind of a brawl with him, it's like you know, it's a fighting business. So whenever it comes like this, and after the win, <laughs> you just feel happy. So I, I, I'm actually kind of happy in being this one. Was there anything about him that surprised you? Um, well, the, the, for sure, the, the toughness, the toughness when I was on his back and, you know, was hitting hard there. I don't know how many punches was that, but I was feeling like they were really pretty heavy and, you know, he, he didn't care about them at all. Uh, he didn't look like, you know, like that changing anything for me. He would be still defending himself. So that, that, that's the thing. But I knew he was very tough. I knew he would be there till, till the end, till I make him, you know, quit. Did you feel him go out completely? I didn't. I just uh, hear him making some noises of choking and make his uh, skin changing color. Uh, but I don't know if he got out or... But uh, as, as I feel like a referee steps in and, and, and stop the fight, but I don't know if he got out or he tapped. Um, what's next for you? When, when do you think you're gonna fight again? Do you have an opponent in mind? We couldn't hear your post fight back here, so I don't know if you called anyone out, but. Uh, I actually didn't bring any name because uh, I just really want to focus on this one, uh, big back in a winning column. So right now I just, I don't have a, anyone in my mind, but Anyone in, in top 10 would be, would be great. Right now, you know, it's more like a celebration. And yeah, and that's it. Are you gonna celebrate with a shoey? Uh, no, no, because you know, I'm not, I, I didn't do it, that's not my tradition. But uh, you know, it was very, uh, a lot of emotions after it. So if uh, Ty would bring the shoey there, I, I, I would do it, but yeah, he, he didn't. Want to? So you're you, maybe you're celebrating the fact that you didn't have to do a shoey. So you know, say again. So maybe you're gonna celebrate the fact that you didn't have to. Yes. Do the shoey. Also, yeah, that's that's the one thing. Right now, emotion are a, a little bit lower, so I, I wouldn't do it. <laughs> Thank you. Did you get a chance to talk to him afterwards? Did you guys exchange any words? Yeah, just uh, words of respect. Been pr pretty much. There's not much to you know. Uh, to say, but uh, he, I, I just, you know, appreciate him to be there and bring that uh, heavy fight for me. I was gonna say this whole fight week, you guys have been very cordial. Do you like that sort of stuff? I mean, do you do you like that it's better where both fighters don't go in there carrying any animosity and just going out there and it's a sporting event, or are you the kind that you don't mind if there's some trash talk and there and there's some animosity going in? Uh, honestly, I don't mind trash talk, but not in my fights. Yeah. <laughs> I actually enjoy some some kind of uh, some fighters doing trash talk, uh, but uh, whenever it comes naturally for them, you, you can tell and it's really fun. But I, it's not happening much in the heavyweight division. I, I rather be in a fight with somebody who uh, who not doing this, and I, re I, I really like this, uh, r you know, respecting respecting each other's style more. Who do uh, who? Give me an example of something that you like whose trash talk is is good that you 
that that's either that's either funny or not. Who who in the UFC is doing it right? Well, I just I thought, uh, for example, Michael Bisping's uh, trash talk was really funny for me. Very, very I found good. it funny. And you mentioned that you know once you saw the blood that the the matter switched. It looked like I could see at one point you touched your head and you looked at your hand, saw a lot of the blood. Was it immediately that quick where you said, all right, I need to switch this and I need to take this down? Uh, it's, it's no, it's it's the, some kind of things that comes a little bit so quick that you don't think about it, you, it just happened. And, and I just felt it there that uh, this blood coming and uh, I feel it might be bad. So it, it, it happens just right away. I, did, I didn't have a opportunity to, you know, think about it, is it right or no? <laughs> And, and you're thinking at least that the rankings between the two of you will switch. In the UFC rankings, he was nine, you were number 10. You think at, at least you should be number nine? Do you think that, or do you think this performance maybe could push you higher? I wouldn't mind. I just don't do the rankings. But, you know, I always, I'll always say that uh, we fight for only one spot in, in, in the rankings. So I don't care that much. But whatever brings me higher, that would be cool. You know, and Ty, a, he's a fan favorite. People love seeing him. I know the UFC <laughs> likes to keep them in there. But this is four losses in a row for him. You know, some people online are questioning whether the UFC is still the right place for him. Do you think that he still fits with the heavyweight division? Or do you think that there's maybe the possibility that his best days are over? I think uh, there was uh, other fighters who has more losses. And the uh, UFC still keep them because they are funny to watch. And I think uh, Ty deserved it because, you know, he brings the fun fights. And fans love it. You know, sometimes, sometimes you know, whenever you you put it's, it's it's a show. Whenever you put on a show, you just you just should have a more more opportunity for this one. Congrats on the victory. Thank you. Congrats on the uh, phenomenal performance. A, t a tough fighter who came at you and, and threw some big blows, and you were able to put him away. Now that everything is over and you could kind of reflect, what's the the thing that stands out the most? You're on the poster. You're the main event in Las Vegas, but now you're like, okay, this, this, it, it, this is real. Like, I'm on my way. Uh, I think the, what, what means the most, it's the fight, the, 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 you know, the scenario of the fight, because it was a little bit crazy. M much stuff happening there, and, and that's the coolest thing. Other, other stuff, too, like the main event, everything. But the, the way uh, this fight happened, that's really... Uh, feels feels very good for me because you know it was I I, I think was uh, excited and you know sometimes heavyweights don't do that. It for sure was an it was a very fun fight as long as it lasted. You were still patient in there even with all the chaos. You were able to like you know throw some shots, kind of put him where you needed him, and then you perfectly timed the takedown, work 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 work, and then bam, just got him there. The, that had to be part of the plan. You didn't want to take it to three, four, five. You're like, as soon as I get you there, I'm, I'm going to get you out of here. Is that, is that correct? Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what we work on. And, uh, you know, this uh, takedown, you know, pressing him against the uh, defense was uh, was one of it. Although at first I didn't succeed because there was so much so much blood in my hands and it slipped. And so I have to adjust it. And, yeah, once I adjust it, I just take him down. And, you know, it's, I just felt like this is my uh, my area. Uh, but he was pretty strong, and he was uh, still hanging in there and tried to stand up. So, so it, wasn't, it wasn't easy to you know, hold him there. Excellent, sir. And last for me, you mentioned on media day when you talked to us how you had talked to the family, the wife, like, oh, sorry, we can't, <laughs> can't go on vacation. I'm kind of doing the main event. So now how do you celebrate? You got that, that, that bonus, too. Tonight. Yeah. So that really kind of pays off, right? I think they're not going to be as mad at you anymore that you didn't have to get the vacation. Yeah, yeah, I rescheduled everything, and I'm flying to French Polynesia tomorrow. So <laughs> that's the, as simple, simple as that. That's awesome. Well, yeah. Congrats on the win. Congrats on the big bonus. Well done, sir. Thank you. I've, I've got one more over here for you. I didn't notice this, but it looks like uh, Jarzinho has called you out. I'm curious if that's a fight that interests you. I know he's a little bit lower in the rankings, but... You know... I I kind of feel like um, I always been a fighter who never reject the fights. So if uh, UFC, but I'm not uh, you know the one who responds you know exactly for him. But if UFC uh, wants to do it, uh, I will agree. But you know I rather have someone higher ranking. How do you see that fight going? If you guys were, I know you were booked before with him. How would you see that fight playing out now? Uh, well, similar, 
than this one. But uh, uh, but the thing is, you know, I, I a little bit owe it to the Jorginho because you know our fight was scheduled like uh, I don't know a year ago or, or so, and I have to you know uh, reschedule it and then I pull off from the fight because I had uh, some health issue. So you know that's that's maybe the fight I I will have to do it like you know to to make it right for him. Oh yeah, just one. Um, when I hear the music that you walked out to, you know, being from Europe, I think of Vladimir Klitschko. Was it a nod to to, to Vladimir at all? Walking hey, out to it's funny because you know I I got it from Vladimir. He he, uh, he walked out. Uh, what was the one fi one of his fight at the Wembley Arena in London? He walked out there and I heard his music and I really like it and that's why I I used it in my walkouts. Have you ever spoken to him at all? No, 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 I don't know him personally. Yeah, and with, with um, Tai to he's he's lost four in a row now, but you weathered an early storm to, to, to get through him and get the win. You know, where do you think Tai should go from here uh, after after this loss to you? I don't know, I think she's, he, he's bringing exciting fights, That's as I said, and I think he still deserves a the place to, you know, to, to fight. I, I, I wouldn't mind. I know people saying, yeah, this guy, this, yeah, like, like there would be some kind of a rules that if you have four losses, you have to go, or this. Everyone has, you know, the, I think is everyone is different type, and I, I see him still there. Does deserve one more shot? Congrats on the win. Enjoy French Polynesia. Thank you so much. Uh, Marcina. You had a new hairstyle for uh, this fight. I got to ask, was there a story behind it or anything? Uh, everyone is actually making fun of this hairstyle. And uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, not a, it's not a big secret. I just got, uh, I'm just getting bald a little bit. And this, this uh, side getting much more bald. <laughs> <laughs> so I try to keep some of, on, the other, on the other side of my head. And that's the, that's the thing. <laughs> and then you, of course, you got to cut on the bald side. Now. Huh? You got to cut on the bald side now. The, you mean the cut? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, actually have one of this. I just don't know where I where are they now, but yeah, I'm just getting bald because of getting <laughs> older. <laughs> Still winning though. Yeah, yeah. Congrats, man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Thank you.